The components used in this project are sponsored by the DF Robot. DF Robot is a leading robotics and open source hardware provider. They create innovative, user-friendly hardware and software products that become the building blocks in all kinds of electronic projects. I personally recommend you should definitely visit www.dfrobot.com. I have been using the MFRC522 RFID module for quite a long time. Using the Arduino and MFRC522 RFID module, I have designed so many amazing projects including the RFID and GSM based students attendance alert message to parents. RFID attendance system with a parents SMS alert and Firebase database. RFID car parking gate opening system. bike editive system and so on. In today's episode you will learn how to use the MFRC522 RFID module with Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and write very simple Python scripts to find the identity numbers of the different RFID tags. In this tutorial you will also learn how to assign names to these RFID tags. This is a beginners level project which only explains the interfacing and basic Python programming for reading the RFID tags. While in my next video I will explain how to control anything using the Raspberry Pi and MFRC522 RFID module. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The 5.5 inch OLED touchscreen is powered up using the Raspberry Pi USB port. The LCD is connected with the HDMI port of the Raspberry Pi using the HDMI adapter. I have a very basic getting started tutorial in which you will learn how to connect a 5.5 inch HDMI OLED capacitive touchscreen LCD, Wi-Fi keyboard, mouse and a night vision camera with Raspberry Pi 3B+. This tutorial will help you with screen display resolution configuration. You can find link in the description. The MFRC522 RFID module connection with the Raspberry Pi is very simple. Pin number 1 of the Raspberry Pi which is the 3.3V pin is connected with the VCC pin of the MFRC522 RFID module. Pin number 6 is connected with the ground. Pin number 19 is connected with the MOSI pin of the RC522 RFID module. Pin number 21 of the Raspberry Pi is connected with the MISO pin of the RFID module. Pin number 22 is connected with the RHD pin of the RFID module. Pin number 23 is connected with the SCK pin of the RFID module 
and pin number 24 of the Raspberry Pi is connected with the SDA pin of the MFRC522 RFID module. After you are done with all the connections, turn on the Raspberry Pi and wait for a while. Before you start the programming, first you will need to enable the SPI. For this, click on the menu, go to Preferences and then click on the Raspberry Pi configuration. Click on the Interfaces and enable the SPI. As you can see, I have already enabled the SPI. After you are done with the SPI configuration, the next step is to restart the Raspberry Pi. You can use the terminal to restart the Raspberry Pi. Or you can simply click on the menu, click on the shutdown options and select a reboot. That's it. After the Raspberry Pi is rebooted, again open the terminal. Now we will do some settings and then we will write two programs. One for reading the tags and the other program for assigning the names. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music.
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.